R.J. Barrett, great matchup with DeAndre Hunter. Here comes Zion Williamson and a foul going against Virginia to take us to the first media timeout of the night. Situated way up in the rafters there with ISO cam right now. You can see they got one on Barrett, they got one on Reddish. I like our accommodations a little bit better than their accommodations. I do tonight. too. That there have been some favorable matchups once shots have gone up. And Jack White had a, a stick back and a dunk. The offensive glass has been very good to do. Zion Williamson right into the chest of Jack Salt, who says, what did I do? Williamson with a chance for a three-point play. Tony Bennett talking with one of the officials, saying that ball went out of bounds before Zion Williamson picked it up. But once Braxton Key lost his balance, that allowed Zion Williamson to get past. And Jack Salt looked like he had his foot on that line, even if he was trying to draw a charge. That's where you have to jump and go straight up if you're inside that restricted arc. Especially that one before the half. He just went right around Williamson, but he missed the layup. Now Zion in traffic. Jams it home with a right hand. Virginia going after the ball low. Guy. And then Jerome makes a gamble, and that opened up the lane. Huff tries to block it, but he couldn't get all the way over to it. Hit him on the arm, and yet Zion Williamson strong enough to finish that play in spectacular fashion. Wow. When you get off balance, he's going to drive it. DeAndre Hunter is a terrific player. Williamson again, and it'll go. I mean, who's better in the country at absorbing contact and finishing through it than Zion Williamson? Williamson gives it up to O'Connell. Elevates in the paint and scores again. We just have to make it more difficult for him to get the ball. He can't catch it with two feet in the paint. Virginia defense is so good at getting back in transition. White misses the corner three. Weak side rebound. Williamson for the putback and a foul. There was no foul on that. Oh, it was I'm just sorry. a goal. Yeah. It was just a, a goaltend call. Uh -huh. Kyle Guy was having to block out Williamson. He rotated down and. That's just not fair. I mean, he did the best he could, but that's not happening. Williamson driving on Hunter. Everything but the finish, but he does draw the foul. And if you, you can get the rebound of possession, that can be two or three. Right. Jerome gets inside and scores up over the top of DeLorean. Well, he is one competitive player. Lay in by Williamson, a man, one of the few real transition opportunities we've seen for Duke in this game. Most of the buckets that have been scored have been unassisted. This has been an, an isolation game and taking advantage of matchups. Boy, it just didn't look like there was anywhere to go, but Williamson have found some room. Uh, he's like a big time fullback. If there is not a hole, he will make one. And talk about finishing. There was a lot of contact there that might have made it difficult, if not impossible, for a lesser player to finish that. But and I did extraordinarily well. <laughs> I am uh, thus earning your spot in the val valedictorian game. of the tenth city. <laughs> I put the ball on the deck against Bolden and then turns it over. A one-handed pass. I don't think Tony Bennett's going to be happy with that. He's never happy with any turnovers. Williamson elevates again and draws another foul. Man, has he been drawing fouls all night long? Fourth foul on Diakice. That'll send him to the bench as Salt comes back in. Yeah, you, know, you hear sometimes when people say, you know, hang time doesn't exist. He gets a switch, he can drive. He's taking advantage of it. And he looked like he was asking, hey, give me RJ Barrett. Williamson follows it up. And they're trading buckets right now here at Cameron. Trey Jones for Duke. The injury not believed to be a long-term thing, but he is not available tonight. Oh. Williamson, a rejection, and then a missed three by Guy. What a block by Zion Williamson. He looked like Karch Karai with a spike back in his old volleyball days. And now he's feeling it at the other end. What a sequence for Williamson. Wow. Well, he blocked it with his left hand, but he went after it with both. 
And that was head on the rim stuff. And then the bucket on the other end got some contact from Jack Salt, still able to finish it. And Zion Williamson, he is more than a dunker. <laughs> Different vibe for Kentucky these days with the emergence of Ashton Hagens. He has been absolutely terrific. What a pass. My goodness. And an easy slam for Williamson to extend the lead to three. Well, Zion Williamson doing everything in this ball game, putting it on the deck. He rebounded at a high level, defended at a high level, and finished plays through contact. And there was a fair amount of contact. And Blocked that shot in a big fashion, in a spectacular fashion. 27 points for Zion Williamson, 10 of 16 from the field. He lost it, got it back, and that'll be the game. The bucket will count. It'll be a two-pointer for Hunter is the signal, but the Duke Blue Devils beat the Virginia Cavaliers 72 to 70. Hey, over to Cameron tonight. And let's start the countdown to the rematch 21 days from now in Charlottesville.